With a total solar eclipse and a solar maximum on the way, there's never been a better time to get started with solar observing. If you own a Celestron telescope or are considering getting one, a custom-designed Celestron Eclipse Smart solar filter can turn your nighttime telescope into a solar scope. In this video, we'll cover the essential safety precautions, the features of the Celestron Eclipse Smart solar filters, and installation techniques for different telescope models. We'll also teach you how to safely place the sun in your telescope's eyepiece and focus your telescope, along with some helpful tips and tricks. So let's get started. Before we get into it, a word on safety. All Celestron Eclipse Smart Telescope filters feature solar safe filter technology that conforms to the latest and most stringent ISO standards for safe visual observation of the sun. Whether you use these filters, a dedicated solar scope, solar binoculars, or solar glasses, ensure that your equipment conforms to this standard. Any unfiltered sunlight that passes through to your eye can cause permanent eye damage. Only use these products as intended. We have more videos about solar safety on our YouTube channel. Celestron's design team has created 14 different telescope filters to choose from, fitting a range of telescope tubes from 60 millimeters all the way up to eight inches. These 14 filters will fit dozens of Celestron's best-selling telescopes and even some third-party camera lenses. Check out the product details on our website to determine which filter you need for your specific model. Do not modify or use a solar filter of the wrong size, as this can cause serious damage to your eyes and your equipment. Only use the filter with the exact telescope models specified by our website. Every Eclipse Smart Telescope filter includes safety mechanisms to securely attach it to your Celestron telescope, preventing accidental exposure to direct sunlight through the eyepiece. To get started, you'll assemble your telescope as usual, but with one crucial caveat. Always remove the finder scope from your telescope for solar observing. It's not needed for solar observation, and it can cause burns if accidentally left attached. Next, it's time to inspect your filter. Hold the filter by the outer edges of the plastic filter cell to take it out of the box. Do not touch the filter material. Inspect the filter's surface under a bright light. If you notice any holes or damage, do not use the filter. Inspect the filter like this before every use. Now, let's go through the installation process for each of the telescope types, starting with the refractor. Start by pointing your telescope away from the sun and removing your telescope's lens cap. Replace it with the solar filter, ensuring a snug fit. Next, tighten the three nylon thumb screws on the filter's edge to secure it in place. Do not over tighten. Again, with the scope pointed away from the sun, remove the telescope's lens cap and replace it with the solar filter. Ensure that the filtered opening is off axis and not blocked by the telescope's secondary mirror spider vanes. Next, attach the four self-adhesive squares of hook and loop material and the two safety straps to secure the filter to the telescope. Schmidt Cassegrain and Edge HD telescopes also use the hook and loop system. First, point the scope away from the sun, remove your telescope's lens cap and replace it with the solar filter. Next, attach the four self-adhesive squares of hook and loop material and the two safety straps to secure the filter to your telescope. The Universal Solar Filter is made of paperboard. It fits telescopes and lenses with an outside diameter of 75 to 100 millimeters. To use it, assemble the filter and place it around your optical device. The adjustable side panels secure with a rubber band for a snug fit. Now that you've installed your filter, let's learn how to locate the sun safely. Without directly looking at the sun, Turn the telescope so that the filter is pointed in its general direction. Look at the telescope's shadow on the ground and adjust its position until the shadow appears to be perfectly round. When the shadow is round, the sun should be within the field of view of your lowest power eyepiece. If not, slowly move the telescope in a circular pattern until you locate it. Celestron Eclipse Smart filters show the sun in the white light spectrum but we've added an orange tint for a more realistic look. In your eyepiece, the sun will appear as an orange disc. If the edges of the solar disc are fuzzy, turn your telescope's focus knob until the image comes in sharp. 
Like all solar film, Celestron Eclipse Smart filters are delicate. Always handle the filter carefully to maintain its performance and longevity. Never touch the film and store the filter in its original packaging when it's not in use. If you ever need to remove dust from the filter's surface, you can use a can of compressed air. Never use cleaning chemicals or brushes. Your Eclipse Smart filter allows you to safely observe all the phases of a partial eclipse. For a total eclipse, you can safely observe all of the eclipse phases leading up to and after totality to the end of the eclipse. During totality, take the time to step away from the scope and look at the sun's corona with the unaided eye. These few moments when the solar disk is completely behind the moon are the only times that you can safely observe the sun's corona without a solar filter. As soon as the first sliver of sunlight is exposed, resume watching the eclipse through your solar filter. But your solar filter can show you much more than eclipses. Be sure to look for sunspots. These small, dark spots are relatively cooler areas of the sun's photosphere, where the weather is a nice, cool 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit instead of the usual 10,000 degrees. Although they may seem small compared to the solar disk, these sunspots are far from it. Most of them are larger than Earth. You can also try looking for limb darkening. This phenomenon occurs when the sun's edge, or limb, is darker than the center of the sun's disk. At the center of the solar disk, an observer sees the deepest, warmest layers that emit the most light. But at the limb, it's only the upper, cooler layers that produce light. So less light can be seen. Now, you're well on your way to becoming a solar astronomer with Eclipse Smart. Visit celestron.com slash eclipsewatch for more information on the upcoming eclipses, solar safe products, and solar observing. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. I'm Lance Lucero, wishing you clear skies. And remember, observe smart, observe Eclipse Smart.